What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. As always, it's me, Rich. And predominantly, I do zine reviews. And today is one of those days where I'm going to review something that will become a zine. As of right now, I was sent the PDF. And that's why I was really happy about this review. Because I've been mentioned that if you don't have money to ship it to me, to print it, just send me the PDF. Like I, I would still love to read it, talk about it, give you my thoughts, perspective on your art. Right. And, and, you know, trust that I still appreciate the fact that you took the time to even give a fuck about my thoughts on it. So today I'm going to be talking about Vato. Let's check it out. So this zinester got in touch with me through Instagram. He sent me a note through Instagram. And it reads, Hey man, like your reviews. Got in touch with Warren from ANC from one of your videos. I'm Tavo from Lima, Peru. Wanted to send you my comics if that's cool with you. Thing is, I haven't printed them out or anything. I honestly just focus hard on making them but don't really know where to take it from here. At this point, I'm just sending them out to cats I respect like J.R. Williams and Mike Deanna. Let me know what you think, man. I dig what you're doing and think you'll dig them. Peace, man. Thank you, bro. Davo, uh, Bato, print them out, man. You don't have to wait for anyone to publish your comics. Your comic book stories are amazing. And I think you should, if the artists that you work with are okay with it, make them into a zine man that's what it's all about do it yourself don't fucking wait for someone to give you permission fuck the gatekeepers fuck those holding the keys don't wait for them to let you in just fucking do your thing to begin with i felt that the that the comics that he sent me had a wide variety of stories but nonetheless could be broken up into two categories one was just fun just just humorous just good natured fun the other was political satire. Now, I enjoyed the two. Not more or less than the other. I just felt that they were two very distinct kind of styles, things that were aimed at. Uh, such as, like, the Pluto story. Uh, I thought that one was just funny. It, it was just being good-natured. The Hansel and the Witch series is another one that I liked a lot and was just funny and good-natured. And with the Hansel and the Witch series that I liked a lot... Like I always talk about, like Monsieur is one of my favorite zinesters. And I love the way that he's able to do a three panel, two panel comic strip and, and still set up a joke and then hit the punchline. And I felt that Davo did that pretty damn well with this Hansel and the Witch series. And, and, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I enjoyed about it. it. It's hard in four panels to really give the understanding and to lay out the joke and then hit the punchline. And then there's the second block, which is more political satire. That, obviously, as an anarchist, I fucking loved. And some of the ones that I liked a lot were the Wilbur, which is this funny, crazy, over-the-top kind of fucking fantasy story about how the alt-right recruits people. And... And so, Tawo, I know off the back that, one, you're anti-white uh, supremacy. Two, you're anti-homophobicness, which I am also. So, you know, all this shit I appreciate. And you're anti-rape culture, which is shown in the, in the Munchkin in the Raincoat comic, where ultimately you're basically highlighting and talking about this structure, this rape culture in Hollywood, and I really think around the world in all kinds of hierarchical su systems and structures, where men of privilege and power ultimately have this leg up to take advantage of women. And even Freeball is another example of that political satire that could be over the top, but is still making a point. Kind of like what I always talk about Beak, another one of my favorite zinesters, how she uses this, this hyper overinflated, you know, crazy over the top fucking world but it's used to ultimately talk about point out real life issues in the world 
And I think she always does it amazingly well. And you're not far from that mark. I mean, you're in good company if I'm, if I'm putting you with Veek. Veek's one of my favorites. So with that being said, I really like free ball. I like that idea. The fact that it didn't have a lot of text, but somehow you were able to convey this idea that these bigots that one, hate people of color, two, hate the LGBTQ community, three, hate just about everybody are ultimately this these minions that feed into this hate and this Trump era. Now the art styles vary because Tavo was the writer. And so he worked with different artists and a lot of these different comics. But I will say that a lot of the art is good as well. It's amazing. Some I like more than others. But nonetheless, I really hope that Tavo, you're hearing me out and you fucking make, you print a zine out and fucking get that going, man. Don't, you know, I'm telling you, if you don't know how to make a zine, there's a lot of ways to learn about it. A lot of ways for you to get involved in it. You can always just shoot me a message. I fucking Xerox copy my zines on a straight up fucking photocopier and you can do it that way as well. All right, you guys, that's about all I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe, show Tavo some love and support. I'm gonna go ahead and put all his links in the description below. And that's about all. Lights!